How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and this video is actually a very highly requested video. We're going to be going over a step-by-step -step screen share. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to print shipping for a Facebook marketplace order using their shipping feature. Ignore the eBay tape, I'm just using it for this box. I've already packed this Nintendo Wii. I sold it on Facebook marketplace with zero transaction fees. They paid for shipping. I did not do provide your own shipping. I used the built-in shipping function from Facebook, but we're gonna go onto the phone. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to print it out using eight and a half by 11 or four by six thermal labels because believe it or not, Facebook is already ahead of the game. They already have a four by six formatting for thermal printers, which makes the process really, really easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the process, please put them in the comments section. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. Let's get into the phone. So here we are on Facebook. We're going to hit that little market right here and that's going to bring us to Facebook Marketplace. We're going to go up here on the top left to that guy, which the this little person, which is your profile. I already got the sale, so it has right here shipping orders. I have one order, so I'm going to click on that. It's a Nintendo Wii console with a controller. It sold for $60. It sold yesterday. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it says order status not shipped. And if you look down here, there's a very little small label size will be four by six. I think it defaults to eight and a half by 11. You just have to hit that change word. It's actually a link to this menu. And if you're using eight and a half by 11 on a normal printer, it even explains it. Look at that. Works best for standard printers. Or if you're using four by six, works best for specialized label printer. We're going to be doing four by six specialized label printer. More than likely you'll be doing eight and a half by 11 if you don't have a label printer. If you want to check out some videos on thermal label printers, if you're shipping a lot of products, you're finding yourself having to tape on a lot of labels. I will put a link to a couple of my favorites in the description. Those videos go very deep about the printers and there are tutorials on most of them as well that I've created. Once you pick your label size, you're gonna hit create shipping label right there. It's going to generate that shipping label. That circle is gonna go around for a little bit, bear with me. It sent a shipping label to the email that I have associated with my Facebook account. Okay, so we're gonna hit continue. Emails you the shipping label, but what I like to do so I don't have to check my email or, I, that's an old email I don't even use anymore. So I'm going to go to resend shipping label, copy link to clipboard, and I'm going to paste that link into a browser, and it's going to allow me to look at that label just like that. There is our shipping label. To print on mobile, I'm specifically on an Android. I'm gonna go three dots at the top. I'm gonna hit print. And I'm going to send that to my brother, QL 1110 NWB. That is one of our thermal printers. I'm gonna hit print. It's going to send the label to my printer. If you were printing on eight and a half by 11, your label would print out something like this. This is just an example. You could fold it in half and tape it on, or you could cut it out and tape it on. You would just affix it right to the package. However, we have this nice thermal label, which all we do is peel it off, and then we stick it on the package just like that. Now, all you have to do is drop this off at the post office, hand it to a mail carrier, put it in the, uh, the slot box at the post office. Many ways to get it in the mailing system. So that's how you do the Facebook Marketplace shipping step by step. I did do it on an Android phone. It's pretty much the same on iOS other than how you would print it, which is a uh, square with an arrow at the top to connect to your printer that's on your network as your, the same network as your phone or as your iPad. But hopefully this was helpful and made somebody's life a little bit easier, less frustrated, a little bit more enjoyable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, please do. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.